So you have no idea how to put ads in your game. Not a problem. First, go to the description and download these three scripts. Now, if you want, you can copy the originals from here, but I've made a few adjustments to make your life easier. Inside, you will find a folder called ads. Just drag that into your project and drag all three into your canvas. Now, go to Windows, General, Services, Ads, and if you see this message, click on New Link. Select your organization. It should have the same name as your Unity ID. Then create a project ID, and it'll ask if the game is for kids. And you say no, because because you never want to make anything for kids. They will sue you for making them cry. Anyway, then you turn on the add button and set it to test mode. And if it says there's a new ad package, just go ahead and upgrade to it. Congratulations, you're done. All you gotta do now is copy and paste your game ID. If you're working on Android, get this one. Otherwise, if you're working on Apple, get that one. Go over to your canvas and paste it in where it says game ID. Then you gotta make sure you switch to the right platform. So if you wanna upload to an Android, go to file, build settings, pick Android, and switch. If you're making it for the Apple Store, pick iOS instead. Awesome. So, how do you activate them? Well, let's just say you wanted this button to trigger skippable ads. To do that, click on the button, and under Triggers, drag in your canvas, and select Show Interstitial Ads. And while we're at it, let's make this button trigger the reward ad. You can do that by going down here, drag in your canvas, and pick Show Reward Video. And if you run the game now, you will see your banner down below. If you click the skippable ads button, it triggers the ad, and the user will be able to skip it if they want. And if you click the reward button it will trigger an unskippable reward ad which will normally close itself after it's over cool so how do you control the details well it's easy let's start with the banner there's really only one thing you ever want to control and that's its position and you can change that right here at the moment it's set to bottom center but you can easily change it to bottom left bottom right top left right or center so if we set it to top center then save and run the game you will see the banner now appears exactly where we told it to next is skippable ads we triggered it with our button but anytime you want to manually activate it, the command is just show interstitial ad. If there is an ad available, it will show. If not, you can tell it to let you know. Finally, let's talk about rewards. Anytime you want to manually trigger a reward ad, the command for that is show rewarded video. That will initiate the ad if it's ready. Now, if the ad finished, you can reward the player with whatever you want in here. If they skipped it, you can scold the player and be like, what the f bro here? And if there was an error, you can let yourself know here. Lastly, if for some reason there's an error and you didn't see your ad show up, go to your dashboard, accept the term, and you'll end up right here. Under monetize, click explore, find the name of your game file, go to add units, and complete activation. And tell them that you're just using Unity. And then you will see this. Now what you want to do is make sure that the surface and variable IDs have the same names as their IDs on the site. So the banner ad ID for Android is banner Android. The reward ad ID for Android is rewarded Android. And the skippable ad ID for Android is interstitial Android. I've done my best to make sure they're the same, but they might update or change the IDs in the future, so so now you know where to find them. All right, well, that's how you do it. Just make sure that before you upload your game to the store, you turn test mode off and change all these booleans to false. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.